Yeah, man, it's Diddy Davis live on Dell Star Radio. About to be with my boy Fats. Over in the know, cut, yo. he's holding it down. Real it's your strong. boy Fats, man. I got yeah, my man. boy Diddy, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You already yeah. know, man. So we coming out real shortly. We're some singles. Wicked, the coolest DJ on the motherfucking planet. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? What's up? Metro Boomin wants some more, nigga. Uh. So we got some live video, we coming up 710. 7, have some fireball in my system, but it's alright, so good. So yeah, so it's just about that positive energy, just how we move on, you know, how we get forward. Playing that seed to get where you gotta be at. Alright? Yes, radio. It's your boy Fast Baby. <laughs> Yo, man, I got the boy Diddy Davis in the building. Yeah, ma. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's yeah, good cool. with you, you fam? Doing? Man, I'm good. I'm more worried about you. How you been? I've been alright, man. Just, you know, just planting my seeds. Most you know, definitely. That's what I'm just saying just a few, uh, few moments ago. Just planting my seeds. Just, just getting to where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's Respect. what it's about. I like that. So you just did your thing last weekend? Yeah, Vanity Grand. Vanity um, Grand. Philadelphia and my um, artist Barkus with me. Okay. Yeah, that 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 was something right there. Something. You know that was you know that was his first performance, but he still did well. Most definitely, yeah, I, I believe you caught visuals on it. Yeah, we got some visuals on it. You, you know the uh, other people, the other sponsors that was in there, they had their own visuals. Um, one just uploaded, so I just put it on Twitter. I think I just put it on Facebook as um, Instagram Facebook, too? Instagram as well. I caught so, that yeah, Instagram so clip. Yeah, so we always got the visuals. Most Everything definitely. Cool. Gotta have the visuals. I see the cameraman on deck. Yeah, that's Swayze Film. Shout out to Swayze Shout film, out man. Swayze. Whole different swagger. You know what I'm saying? Whole different things going on, man. Most definitely. You got the fam in the building. Yeah, you, got, you know, family is one of your biggest supporters. Always, you man. Even though you're your biggest supporter, but when family's in there, that's... That's the support you need too. Most definitely. Does mom help you with your music and critic it? Tell you what's hot and what's not? I mean, sometimes I bring that music around her. She tell me, you know, she give me her perspectives. Most definitely. On, you know, what she thinks, you know, you, you need that. Yeah. From anybody. Anybody. If they're a fan, so I want to know. That's real. I'm going to be classified with it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know be out there. Yeah, I Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so, yeah. man, tell me a little bit about Diddy Davis, man. Where, where are you from, man? Oh, uh, man, where I'm from, I'm from Delaware. You're from yeah, Delaware. I'm from Jamaica. I'm from everywhere, actually. I say that from everywhere. Worldwide. You know, worldwide. Worldwide. You know what I mean? But I met a lot of people who's from, you know, Jamaica, Delaware, New up in New York, up in the Bronx, the Queens, everything like that. So that's pretty much where I'm from, from everywhere, man. Most I'm from everywhere with love. You okay. Know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people just think about where you at. I don't mean, know where you're from. It's, it's ain't all about that. Right. You know what I mean? So you from everywhere. We here. Most you know definitely. what I mean? This is this is a thing called life. Life. You dig? Yeah, man. So so what I'm saying is because um last time I was here I was telling y'all, you know, the next Little events recap. I was gonna be doing. Um, you know, I was at Dell Castle, start off with them, you know, presenting to the kids, you know, the sophomores, the juniors and the business. Shout class. out Dell Castle. Shout out to Dell Castle. You Sweet. know what I mean? The Cougars. Oh snap. My you cousin know? used to play for them. Oh man, what, what they do? Uh, he did his thing. I believe he played football Linebacker. for Del Castle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, he was a offensive lineman, I believe. Don't get me wrong on that. So he's but a big he, guy. He's a big guy. That's, yeah, that's the big six guy. Foot three. And yeah, you know what I mean, okay. most definitely. That's real. Yeah, yeah. So Del Castle, you know, just coming from there. After uh, presenting to the kids, you know, just be able to perform as well. Most definitely. You know, the talent shows. Uh, someone named uh, Miss Jervis. She usually do the events. Okay. You know, so when they have like the uh, the proms, homecomings, those other pep rallies, you know, she's the one who runs certain events like that. Nice. You know, like she's in contact with like Doc B. So I got him, you know, in the tuck a little bit, man. Check you out. Check you out. Doc B's a cool dude, man. He, be he so looks cool a little tight, but he's a cool dude, you know. That's so, real. Yeah, so. You know, after that, man, it's just, just perform after perform, song after song, you know, um, artists that I associate myself with just getting them involved, too. Okay. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's about, you know, and just, some people are just too isolated. Yeah, I believe that. You know that. what I mean? Too isolated. You know what I mean? They do too much for the features and all, man, just make the music with them. Right. You know what I mean? If it, if it comes out bad, it could come out better the next time, next month, next year. So how many tracks do you have out right now? Out right now? Out right I only now. Have a, I only have a few. You only so have a few? Yeah, it's like five, six out right now. What you are know, those? Because 
For those who don't know, what tracks do you have out right now? Right now, we have All The Way Up. Just put that out last week. Right I think I was listening to that on the way Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Um, that, that premiered here on Dell Star Radio Live last Exclusive. Friday at 8. But um, All The Way Up is on there. Have Turned Up, of course. Um, you know, have as a, what's, not, um, what's, it, what's that one song called? The Summer 16. That was with my other oh, artist, Oh, Summer Steve's. 16? Yeah, but it's called uh, 9298. Oh, yeah, that's what my other artist, I He's like a junior that. high school. Y'all gotta watch out for that guy, man. He got a lot of heat coming. You know what I'm saying? He, he just warming up too. That's you know cool. what I mean? But it, but it's more where that came from. You know what I'm saying? I only got a few tracks on there. You know what I mean? Because I have a lot of stuff on Tuck. I you know, want that flash drive. That flash yeah, drive yeah. bring that game crazy, y'all. Y'all don't understand. That's why I've been doing listening sessions, going places, having like 200 songs on lock. You know, some of them are old too. Don't get it twisted. You know what right. I'm saying? But just being able to just have so much songs. Because every song you do, you don't have to put it out. Nah. A lot of people don't understand that. It's nice Some people put out, like I was just saying on the artist, every time you do a track, people be putting it out and it's rough drafts, it's not mastered, the stems, all that. It's like, what you doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? They, you have to get the final touches on it, hear it, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot you gotta do. So what are, what are some producers that you have worked with and you have collabed with? Well, you know Hafiz. I, mean, I know Matt, though, really he said sure he know, we way. know some of you on um, Hot Feast. Okay. He's, he's a powerful producer. He's also a photographer. He got his own production company. You know, he's real good on the uh Where does he be at? Right now, he's in, over there on the north side. He's usually from, he was from Florida. Okay. And then came to Philly and stuff like that. So he brought that southern yeah, he got taste a, to yeah, it? Yeah, he, he got a different, he got different beats. Oh, that's I mean, real. sometimes he played me certain beats, it's like Super Mario Brothers and stuff, but <laughs> he, so, he got certain beats that's like for like soundtracks of right. certain movies, but that's good to have that diversity, you know what I mean? Um, Hafiz, and I got someone named, uh, what's his name, JM. Okay. You know what I mean? That's my dog. He just I just retweeted him on Twitter. You know, you can catch him right now. He got hit me up right now, so right. I can tag y'all. He's a good producer. You know, I got a couple more on, on top, man. It's just, I like to have my songs tough. Right. I got a lot of, I played you those two songs and they're not even on the, on the net. Not you know yet? What I'm exactly. Oh, man. Yeah. So I see you what you're doing. Yeah. So when you drop, so when you drop your concept, your body of work, you want it all in one. Right. You know what I mean? Don't just, you got bird feet. Okay. You know, you got bird feet. So that's your technique. I mean, yeah, everyone has their own technique. Mm -hmm. But you got to be smart with your technique, man. You know, so, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much how the producers go. And I'm still, I'm still with everybody. I'm still hitting up producers every day. Show me what you got. Send me some snippets. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's, let's, let's vibe on them. Um, you know? I think somebody who you should reach out to, actually, uh, I messed with him. You should reach out to SM Audio Beat Mechanics. Okay. Uh, he's a Atlantic producer. Pretty nice. I, I got to give it to him. He makes all kinds of beats. Uh, I think there's some of your taste. So you should reach out to him I mean, and get the chance. What type of guy? I mean, we got um, bass and snares. We got what do you got? 808s. What do you got? He has bass and snares. 808s. Uh, I've heard a little bit of reggae from him. Okay. It's it's a bunch of different things. If you want to quote me on on instruments, I'm not the go-to guy. Okay. But uh, I can tell you, it's good quality. Okay. It's great uh, vibes from it. Okay. It's just the what vibe, what you vibe. do with it. You know what I mean? Right. But that's just one producer that I had in mind when I was listening to your song on the way. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that, man. We can also. I'm, I'm down with anything. I was. Uh, wait, speaking of Matt, let's be talk about Matt. Um, let's he, talk about Matt. Yeah, Matthew. Matthew. You know what I mean? Uh, he premiered me somebody who. Uh, he's a singer. A singer. Oh, his he's new a artist that he's working with. Maybe. Um, welcome to the VIP. Was that one of the songs that you heard? I'm not sure, man. I forgot his name, but he can sing, he can play instruments too. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I think about we now? have the same person in mind. mind. Yeah, yeah. He's real dope, dope man. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, for those who are not just in tune, I got the boy Diddy Davis on here, yeah, DS Radio. You yeah, already know, man. He's yeah, holding yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight from out of Philly. You know on the mean? rebound right now. <laughs> That's dope, though. So, yeah. you did the Granite event. Yeah. I pronounced that right? Yeah, Vanity Grand. Vanity Grand. Vanity Grand. Okay. Um, have you done any Philly song battles? Any Philly song battles? Nah, but, you know, um, the owner of Fast Money Radio's name, his name Book, shout out to Book. Man. Shout out Book. Shout out to Book. Um, you know, me and him discuss things all the time. Certain okay. Events. So the time is all in there. You know, they still have ciphers that they do a Sunday cypher. He'll all right. just pop up with their cameras, you and probably two more artists, or just you by yourself or whatever, how you go. Right. 
Sunday Cypher. Any beat, just go. Have you been so, in any? Nah, I'm just telling you that's what me and him talked about because he's already doing that. All so right. So we just having that tug, just the timing. You Most know, definitely. The time, it's going to be in there. Have it's the all visuals, about timing. And that visuals, you got to have the visuals. Stuff yeah. on the camera. Everything you do, you got to have that. You know what I mean? Who you going to have there to shoot your visuals for you? You going to have him? Man, he's already holding it down. He's holding it down, man. He's he hasn't stopped moving since. You know know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, it's about that work ethic. Yeah. I'm saying, how bad did you? How bad do you want it? I can relate to that. You know, it was times where uh, years ago, we were in 2016. Man, I was like 20. It was like 2012, probably before that. But I'll say 2012 for now. I was thinking like, yo, how am I going to get on a radio station? Right. Just how? What is it like? (laughs) All that other stuff. But then it was like, how? How? You know, and then. Everything's every you. good. How? But then it's like cracking that that key, that that key that unlocked that door. Right. And it just happened. You gotta just. We gotta talk it into existence, man. Ex- speaking into existence. If, if you yeah. if you speak it into existence, like yeah. it'll happen. Not anytime, but it'll happen when it's when it's right yeah. there in its yeah. time. time. Time always tell. You know what I mean? You know? So what are your goals for 2016? The goals right now is just I'm I'm surrounding myself with just so much of like production entertainment. Once okay. again, artists, of course, you know, just just that. All right. You know, that's my way of leveling up. Like I said, a lot of people, they isolate themselves and they don't grow. Right. You know, in, in the entertainment part. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta expand. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, what, that's how you grow. So are you, would you just consider yourself as a reggae artist or where would you put yourself at? I would say hip hop, reggae, dancehall. Okay. Yeah, because of course I, I spit, you know, I rap. Oh, you got them bars? I got little bars. Who's that guy here earlier? What's his name again? I was Swipe. Listening. Swipe. How old is he? Uh, I, Swipe is 14 or 15. Yeah, shout out to Swipe, young boy. I was listening. Yeah, he was in. Yeah. And then I forgot who, the other host on here, he was holding it down too. Stalks. 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 Shout to sit Stalks. down with he Stalks said, I'm the bar every king. Saturday. <laughs> you love the bars. But you know what I mean? I'm more lyrical. I like talking about real things. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, um,. Shout out to Swipe, too. And most definitely. Yeah, but, uh, but back to what I was, you know, just Shout talking about. Shout out Trendsetters. About. Yeah, Trendsetters. Because we are Trendsetters. Yeah. We're not, we're not, you know what I mean? Trend followers. Trendsetter. Most you know that. what I mean? But yeah, so hip-hop and reggae dancehall. Okay. Yeah. So with with hip-hop and, and reggae dancehall, what comes with that bracket? Like, as an artist, what comes with your title of you know what I mean? Okay, okay, so what can you expand on such as an artist with hip hop and reggae put together? Like, what kind of beats can you go on? Like, how 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 can you how can you twist that? Well, what you got to do first and foremost, you got to study the greats. Okay, you know who are the people who inspire you? Who are the ones who motivate you? You got to study the greats and and whatever it is that you like to do. So that's what I do. You know, it's not just your your favorite five artists that's in your rotation. You right. Go to the artists that you like. Like that one song, you're like, oh man, let me listen to one of the albums. Let me right. go back to the 90s albums, the late 80s or the early 2000s, and the list go on. You gotta study it, study from top to bottom. Okay. Repeat it, and then it goes from there. Like me, you can tell, I, I, like, the, I like the late 90s right. type vibe. I like the bounce. So, you know, so that's where it comes from. Where does your reggae inspiration come from? Since, since we're talking, you gotta go back and look at artists. Like, what, what are the artists that ins- inspire you to do reggae? The, the reggae artists? Yes. Because one of the, the new school dancehall artists, I like, um, like I played that song earlier. You said, who's this you? I said, nah, that's I Octane. Okay. You know, he's one of the, the newest um, dancehall people. You know, Chronics. These people that you don't really know yet. Because, you know, they see, the reggae dancehall world is a little different. You're right. Because it's not mainstream like the rap and hip-hop and pop. You know what I mean? You don't really hear these guys, but these are the guys I really listen to. You know, okay. You, my, you know, we was riding. I had that stuff already on. Boom. You know, I listened to all them. Vibes Cartel. All He's right. like the Lil Wayne of dance hall. Oh, well, damn. Yeah. He, there he, you go. He talks about, you know, Lil Wayne goes all... He's like yeah. the Lil Wayne of dance hall. You know what I mean? And, of course, I have Boozhoo Bonten, you know, Beanie Man, you know, and the list goes on from there. So Capleton. Who, who are your legendaries? Capleton. Capleton. That's one of my favorite. That was probably um, because of my uncle. You know, I was telling you earlier, his restaurant yeah, right there yeah. on 4th Street. Shout out Tasty. Yeah, man. So, you know, the address 727 West 4th Street. Get your oxtails, your curry chicken with the gravy and Come on, man. The rice. Make me hungry. Come on. Woo, the cabbage. Man, that's oh, real. Man. You- I seen the commercial and I just yeah. saw the food and I was like... It's, yeah, man. You can, see, that's, mm, you mm, got mm. to go. I got to get you, there. You can't just sit down and just watch that. 
Nah, you, know, you, you gotta, can't. You gotta go get that. You gotta go get that. Yeah. So you, Diddy, where did you come up with that name? First things first. That's 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 my thing. That's very interesting because I'm glad you asked that. Most definitely. I'm glad you asked. I'm that. curious. So I was real young, right? Check this out. Real young. You know, you always have those people who just do more, do more than what they should be doing. Right. But someone just said, yo, man, and they just started calling me Diddy. But I was around the people that kind of made it to a joke. Right. They said, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just ran with it, kind of boosted me. It was like some moment before lunch and stuff like that. This is middle school we talking about, like, right, <laughs> right before Still uh, high, right before high school. You know what I mean? Well, okay. So it's like, yo, and then they just, it just came out like that. Diddy. You just, you just yo. took off with it. Yeah. It ain't like they was calling me Puff Daddy, but it mm-hmm. was like, Diddy, Diddy, you know what I mean? So you like, sure they won't call you Puff Daddy? Nah, that's that's drawing. I, I really wouldn't like that after. We wouldn't no. like it. <laughs> nah, so I mean, you still have those people who play around once in a blue moon, people. Right. But nah, they don't. So question: Did you come out with Diddy before P Diddy? Like, did you? Did uh, you? I can't call it, man. <laughs> Would you know. call it? Would you I say? Because it's not it's not Diddy. It's Diddy Davis. Diddy Davis. But see, I yeah. like that. Diddy yeah. Davis. Diddy Davis. So it's Davis. That's P. Diddy. It's Diddy Davis. I feel you. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a complete difference. Yeah, it's a complete difference. You know what I mean? So Davis. That's a whole name at the end of Diddy. You know? Is that your actual name, Davis? Davis. So you're you're rocking with your actual name with your artist? Diddy Davis. I like that. You that's, know, that's what it is. That's definitely yeah, man, respect. So, you, you know, I think we about to go into the single real fast. You want to hop you know into I mean? that? Yeah, I, I think we want to uh, get the get the vibe up a little bit. I think oh I'm, man, Most I think I'm about to start, you know, feeling myself a little bit. Start getting this getting this popping. Okay, you want to feel yourself just tap. So bit. I think we, we gonna <laughs> hit that. You said that controller. That controller. The controller remix. You want to walk him into it? Yeah, let me walk him right into it. Yo, it's Diddy Davis on Dell Star Radio. You about to hear that controller remix? Fire! Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. She have on the rompers, fit us so nice, and them toes done. You know she look good. Conversation taking us to different places. Let me speed it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reached out, grabbed her by the arm, did it real gentle. It gotta be simple. Something about her, I can't control her. I can't control that, baby girl. Let's see how you're going. Walk to the place. You don't tell me no. No book it up. Book it up. Yeah. Book it up. Yeah. The way she a wine. She broke it down. She broke it down. Yeah. She broke it down. Yeah. She dangerous. Don't tell me now. She broke it up. She broke it up. She dangerous. Oh, man. That right there was the Controller. Boy. There it went right there on DS Radio exclusive first time heard. Shout out to everybody who was just listening. I Shout know some out. Was, I know some girls was whining. I know some people was nodding their head. <laughs> Turn up. You know, don't don't try to don't try to be too cool, man. When you listen to my music, I like people who bounce. That's bounce. What it's, about. it's about the bounce. Most definitely, you, know I mean? you can hear that. Yeah. You can hear that you bounce. Know, it definitely bounce, made one that move. Two step that. Ah. Yeah, ah. It's that ah. You know, that stuff ah. like that. Hashtag you know. that ah. So yeah, man. So anyone who trying to follow me, yeah, we got man. a lot of Twitter followers. That's twitter.com, letter I, and then Diddy Davis. Last time I was on here, I was telling uh, Matt, someone stole my at name. I am Diddy Davis. I'm like, it's a scam account. You know mm. what I mean? But anyway. Like fake accounts? Yeah, little fake accounts. Oh, anyway. that's brutal. Anyway. So where else can they people find you at that want to find Diddy? Yeah, so the letter I, Diddy Davis, and then that's on Twitter. And I know a lot of people on the Snapchat now. That's Dario, like Mario with a D. Okay. Then Diddy Davis. Instagram is I am Diddy Davis. Same thing with Facebook. I am Diddy Davis. Some of the songs you want to catch go on SoundCloud.com. That's Diddy Davis. You know, log on to the website, see what's going on. That's DiddyDavis.com. Most you definitely. Know, you go there, you can go right to the Twitter, go right to the visuals, straight to the YouTube, that media. You can contact me on my own website, DiddyDavis.com. Okay. You know, you got the website up and running on it. Might as well just pull that up, but you might as well just send me all the links. You know what I mean? (laughs) Clearly, I'm on the blind side of this right here, and it just ain't working for me. You You seem to be an interesting individual. Yeah, man. So that's what I'm saying. You got to build. I got to dig. You got to build. I got to dig. Yeah, I got some research to do on you. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the way you said that part, but yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so DiddyDavis.com, and then anyone who wants to contact me, I will contact you right back because it, it hits me as soon as you hit that send button. No, no A&Rs, no managers I mean, in between. Whatever it is. I mean, sometimes you get like a yo. 
Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Just, uh, yeah. just good. You. Anybody. Somebody, so original. People I like you. And stuff like that. You know. But most definitely. Just hit me up. I'm not anti-social, man. You know, I hit back. What is the most craziest DM you ever got? The most craziest DM you ever got. High school days. High school days? Dang, I, but you, now, you, you dig talking about Davis. You digging. Now, you talking about digging. Now, I got to do some digging. I don't know the, the craziest DM. Probably some crazy stuff like them long novel paragraphs, DMs. You just go into the, the inbox and it's just a big paragraph. You about, get those? Yeah, sometimes you get those. I you must know? not be Diddy famous because <laughs> facts ain't get one of those yet. Yeah, just a, just a big script of just like, what is this? You caught any bodies in your DM? Any bodies in my DM? Nah, no bodies. No bodies? No it ain't going down in your DM? Nah, I ain't your Gotti. What's, what's your Instagram again? That's I am Diddy Davis. You hear that right there, ladies? I am Diddy Davis. Go blow his so DMs up. <laughs> Yo, this boy, <laughs> what's your DMs looking like? Yo, my DMs catch a body like twice a week, bro. Oh, yeah? I'm that guy. I'm proud of it. I like that. But shh. <laughs> okay. I got, sh- I got too many Everybody fans. You know yeah, I mean? Are you real big on the Snapchat? Um, 12,000 plus snaps. I think that's really big. Yeah. It keeps your count of how many times you snapped. Okay. So what's your count over there? That's, that's Dario. That was if I said five minutes ago. It's like Mario with a D. So Most Dario, definitely. Dario, Diddy Davis. Go ahead and follow me. You're going to have to Kaboom. follow me. Kush Mountains 88. You know, we might link up, do some magic. Oh, yeah, Kush Mountains. Kush Mountains. <laughs> but, yeah, man, so that's what it's about, man. <laughs> yeah, so, like yeah, that. so um, while we plant these seeds, like what I was saying, because the next time when I come back, because, like, you you know, you, you know, we talk behind the scenes, you know. What yeah. Am I, what am I doing with my artists? Why am I, Yeah, about know, that. Of course, I focus on me. Don't ever get that twisted. Most but definitely. It's the same thing. Like, when I see great in people, I want to, like, that's what I do with music. It's like, yo, I want I want you, I want to see you shine, too. Right. Even if you, what? What? So it's like, yo, so they got music that's ready, you know, but this is all about their timing. Okay. So go for the summer, though. Come here, how many, drop it. How many artists do you have on your side right now that was, you're working with? I can say just double digits. Double digits? Double digits? How do you keep up with so many artists? Just always just staying in contact. Okay. You know what I mean? Just always. You know, I might, if I don't hit somebody up, I try to hit them up at least the next week or once a week. You know, just yo, what's up? Yeah, I'm doing this. How? What's your time like? Right. Let's let's just chop it up today. Let me let me bring you to my spot. Let's or, or where you at? Or let's catch up. How's life? Got you. But, so, question, Diddy Davis, what does Diddy Davis do in his spare time? Spare when time. when you're not an artist and everything else is all said and done, what do you do? Do you still work? Or? I, I like to play basketball. I like you to like play to play sports. basketball? You know what I mean? But I haven't played basketball in a while. Okay, so you you're a sports I mean? f- fanatic. I am sports fanatic. What you think about this heat so far? Heat and the Warriors. I mean, I said the Heat and the Warriors. The I'm Warriors, not having this conversation with you. <laughs> the Warriors and the Cavs. Who are you going for? Um. Well, I, me personally, I feel like Cleveland is just gonna win due to the fact, like, I feel like NBA is rigged. So with that being said, you so? I'm. What you mean, rigged like what? Um, spread wise, like already paid off. Like we know who's winning. We gambled Vegas. The whole nine, but um, me personally, I'm going for the Warriors. Like, they're they're a great team. They are, they are. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it keeps you in tune. Like, it does. Cause I, I like I like it, man. So you can sit down and watch it. Yeah, I can sit down and watch it. You know, You're sometimes a great guy. you know sometimes you miss the games, but sometimes <laughs> I can't do it. I have the NBA app. You know, oh, so, so you be on the road. So if I miss it, ah, I, I, what happened? Hit the highlights. But I think Steph Curry. You know he, you know he been balling like this for a while, right? But he been working on his craft, and that's how he just true, just went up. Yeah, you know shooting from anywhere, just letting that. It's just weird how he just Splash. release it. You know, but that I think, is crazy. But LeBron and everyone else, I think his squad even need to get better, healthier. You know, there's always the bench and all that. You know, but we we see tomorrow, right? Yeah. No, isn't it today? Nah, no, no, no. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow, Sunday. Tomorrow. Hey, look, man, my schedule is crazy. Yeah. But um, okay, so yeah, so you, pretty much like sports. You know, I like to watch TV. I like to hang on my friends, my family. See the involvement. Yeah, you know, I see you're very like family, family orientated. Sometimes let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's eat. Let's do this. Okay. You know, I like just, I'm a regular person. We all regular. So are you so, into the party scenes? 
a little bit. Once in a gray moon, I pop Once up. in a gray moon. Because, yeah, you know, nowadays it's, it's, it's getting more crazier. Yes. You know? Yes. I mean. Yes. Very. It's, 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 you don't know what you get yourself into. Man. Very true. You got you to gotta scheme too much. So how do you go? Because they say an artist should always have their self presented out there and always around people. Since you're not really on, on the big party scene, how do you make an impact upon your person to the people? Just staying, like, staying active. Always staying, staying active staying on, like, active. social media, social network. Social media, networking, always letting people know, you know, always coming in contact with your supporters. Okay. Sometimes go out when you perform, network as well, let them know, talk to the DJs upstairs, or oh, word, well, bam, I might need you in a few months on something. Well, okay. Bam, oh, that, that other cameraman that was upstairs, oh, I'm going to need him too. I might need him and Swayze to do something at the same time. Right. Kaboom. Who else downstairs? Da, da, da. Promoters, you know, that like to talk. You know what I mean? It's just, that's how it goes. That's right. You know what I mean? Always stay in your lane in, the, in that industry. Most definitely. You know, so. so where do you see yourself five years from this interview? Five years from this interview. Of course, coming back to Dell Star. Always. Of course, but like what behind me, I just see like... I like I like to have a business. I'm around business minded people. Okay. So like a few businesses, you know, maybe I can have a studio. Maybe I have a, maybe I have a barber shop, barber shop and a salon. Do you like cutting hair? I don't cut hair, but I'm into that. Like, okay. Just that energy, like you know, it's music playing. Right. You know, what it brings. It down, what it brings. You got the TV. Everyone's convers. It's, it's like yeah. good conversations in there. Ain't nothing like a barber shop or a salon shop type vibe. That's Everyone, where you go get your therapy. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you know what, what I mean? mean? That's pretty dope. But I think. What would you name but it? But the thing is, what would I name it? What would you name it? I don't know, but I think I want to name my restaurant Diddy Davis Cafe. Oh, she got food on mine, too. Remember, I have an uncle who's down, who's right yes. here. On one, yes. Yes. Don't play yourself. But what that DJ don't Khaled mean, would say. That don't mean you caught them skills, though. When I was younger, I used to work with him for a few years. Oh, so that's see, family. So, so you I, might I got be in it. a situation. Yeah, I got it. Well, I'm going to need one of them platters of course, one day. he's way better than me because he's he been doing it for years, but I right. got it. You know, that's real. But yeah, man. So just having businesses, you know, you still have to figure out what it is because you have to build your craft and monetize it. Right. You know, so that's what it's still about right now. You know, figuring out, like, again, that key, open that door. All right. That business going to work. OK. Right. Run with it. But but back to your question, just having a few business by my back. But I like the, I like entertainment. OK. Like you see your themes and stuff like that. Performances. All right. Let's say Kanye West. Y'all get where I'm going now. Um, when you see his performances. You see the lights, you see the smokes that come up. Right. How everyone, the stage, the theme, everything's in the back. It's theatrical. That stuff I'm really into. Okay. Like, so if you throw a show, I'm into all that. All the people that's walking around with the headset on, trying to make sure stuff is right. That's production. You know, make sure every like that's that that theme like that that that's what I'm into. So like, you basically say having, that's your major playground right there. The no, production just all field. into that. Like the businesses being involved with events that goes down, just being behind events. Okay. You know, executive producing as well. You know, just would you put that. a stage together as in like the background and the themes and the actrices like yeah, you were saying? I could, I could work on it. You could work on that. I could work on that. You know what I mean? Just figure out, put two and two together. Figure out what is that. Such and such will want to. And okay. Also, what the show is about, etc. Yeah. Have you been to college for any of this? No. 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 It's, that's what I'm saying. You got. See, that's the thing about. It, it, you don't necessarily that, need it to succeed in that area. Exactly. But see, I was just and curious I'm glad because because you seem like the type of person I'd be good in like theater. Theater. Yeah. Theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, and speaking of college, I mean, we don't want to talk about that. We're not gonna talk yeah. about it. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. But next um, time. But back. No, we can we can bring it up a little bit, but okay. uh, back to what you were saying, you know, just theatrical. That's what I'm into, like entertainment. What makes like hits, classic, like ain't nothing like that. Right. Like like I said, back to the late '90s, early 2000s. When we hear those songs, they bump. You can't never turn that down, right? Right. But these new songs today, a lot of people be like that's old, that's this. They criticize that. You know, I'm into the hits. You know, let's make this thing rock. Let's like let's make this thing play five years from now too. You know what I mean? So you're definitely planning to stay yeah. relevant and moving. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I, like, that's what it is, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It sounds like you have this this vision upstairs, and you're putting everything into it. See, that's what I was telling you. You know, we in 2016, like I, like I said, it was years ago, I was thinking all this, like, how? Like right. I said, you really have, if you're really into something that you like to do, study oh, the greats. If you're into belts, who make belts? 
all right, so a lot of people know Hermes and Hermes and everything. Like, all right, who's the owner of Hermes? Da, 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 da. Right. And then do do your research, study the greats, you know, or also the greats who you who you follow, who motivate you, and then it works from there. Anything you want to do, like you want to be a host. I like Cosmic Cab. He's always the same. You know what I mean? You right. can study certain. There's so many hosts out there, like Big Boy TV. I'm, I'm not sure if you know about I know that one. Or, you know, uh, Old Man Ebro, Pot 97. Okay. Charlamagne the God, Power 105. Right. Angela E, she's Power 105. With DJ M, you know what I mean? The list yeah. goes on. Like, how they do it, how they you study. You study. Yeah, in my free time, I sit down and watch a yeah, bunch of interviews on YouTube and stuff, so. Yeah, or, or even just that. It's just not even just about just watching interviews, man. It's just, just study. Most definitely. You know what I mean? Put yourself out there. Like I said, if you're a barber, you know other barbers, and y'all might have lunch one day. Which what, what, what customers you came into today? Right. You know what, what type of how you, did you handle it? Did it go bad, or how did you, you know? It's like that. Man. I like that. Yeah, man. So you got it all figured out so far? I wouldn't say so. It's still, you you learn every day. I want to say that so bad, but it's like we still learning. Yeah. We still, it's still a lot going on. That's better to say than saying yeah, you know. I, I would love to say I got it figured out, but we all don't. You know, we all wish we could. That. We all wish we could have what we want right now. Right. But it's like that ain't gonna happen. So, all right. So when you make it big, right, and you get all this money, right? This you know money, what's gonna happen. It's all about the money. It's nah, money. it's not all about the money. <laughs> what are the first four things you're gonna invest your money into? The first what thing? Four things you'll invest your money into. The first thing, let me see. The first things you got first, just um, inverse in your priorities first. Okay. You know, what, what roof is over your head, where you stand at, that's always first. Right. You know, without that, there's going to be bigger problems. And then those other uh, things that come involved with that, and then you got to just move on with there. What, what is your occupation? What's your career? Okay. Invest in that. If, you, you know, your occupation is going to take you two to five years from now, invest in that. You know, you got to invest in yourself. Don't, a lot of people see, that's the thing I know is a lot of people, a lot of people just get things and they just splur it on right. the wrong things. You know, me and my cousin, his, um, his name Wayne. Wayne, they call him Wale because he looked like Wale. Oh, God. But anyway, but um, we, had to, we had to talk one time. You know, it's like, it's a quote. Sometimes we share quotes. It's like, people be worried about the wrong things. So when you get all that money, people be just worried about the wrong things. Like, man, I'm going to just hurt them. Let me just grab all these, ah. So I can just show off. Mm -hmm. uh, if that's that in yourself, man. You know what right. I mean? Get yourself something for you. Most definitely. You know what I mean? Even if it was the designer or whatever it is, uh, if it's for you, that's all good. But a lot of people, it's not really for them. And nah. we're seeing that a lot now. Oh, you much. see that every day with new artists and people in general. You know what I mean? So I at least you're still keeping it to the origins and the origins and what you yeah. got yeah, planned yeah, out. Yeah, but don't, don't ever get to it. There ain't nothing wrong with rocking it, but I'm just saying, I think we know it's a lot of make believe and it's a lot of just following we have to trend set you know what i mean like when you like for example when i perform you see me by myself right and i rock that stage a lot of people can't perform without one person behind them i don't like that or too that much. 20 people background yeah. i was just sharing that same information to one of my artists barkus and everyone else before we had vanity the grand just open them up about that talk you know, you have to perform by yourself. Right. Because there's going to be a time, you, all that 20 people behind you, there's going to be a time, we need you in Arizona, yo. Or, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Right. What you going to do? How you going to do it? It's different now. Yeah. That's different. You ain't got to be bumping everybody or, yo, what you got to say? All and that my, crazy stuff. My, my thing about that is it takes the attention off of you. Yeah. You're the artist. Exactly. They're not the artist. Exactly. So you should be performing by yourself. So therefore, you're the main attraction. You're who everybody came to watch. They didn't come to watch 16 people jump off a stage and bump heads. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's my outlook on that. Because I see many artists out here and they're performing. And remind you, I just saw a solo performance and it was great. Yeah. Now you go throw 30 people on a stage and I'm like, well, which one's rapping? Exactly. Where's the rapper? It's like five hype men, one artist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone's bouncing on the stage, everybody tripping. Exactly. Cameraman falling into something. Drink, get on his shirt. Then what? Then what? Then 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 everybody mad. Mad. Because of the storm they created. Damn, Damn. Hold on. That's a tweet. Oh, hold on. I Diddy Davis. Mm -hmm. Tweet me in that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yo. man. But you know what I'm saying? That's it's like, yo, like you gotta learn how to do that by yourself. No, it's definitely. Because I, I, that's why I know it's like since we talk about artists, I like this type of topics. You know, it's a lot of artists that's doing anything. I appreciate it. 
But we talking about those one artists who can't do know they can't operate by themselves. You know what I mean? You have to operate yourself. You know, so you know, that's how that pretty much. So you got the iOS ten? Or anybody got the iOS ten in here? What is that? The iOS ten for Apple. iPhone. iPhone? Oh, um no. I have an Android. I'ma keep it in an Android and we're just gonna know it as Android. What kind of, what was it, Samsung? I have a Samsung, a Note five. No five. Yeah. Okay. Comes with the pen. Okay. I get to draw. Right. It's crazy because I think I'm the only iPhone. Me and Swayze Films, we got the iPhone. You got that tune in that on your phone? Of course. You on that Dell Star? Del, come on. Shout that out real quick for the people. Tell them where they can find hey, you. Hey, look, Follow listen you up. At. Dellstarradio.com. Get on the website. If you got Android, look up Dell Star Radio. If you got Apple iPhone, look up TuneIn Radio, download it, then you search up Dell Star Radio. No, it's but most of the time, there's a lot of app problems on the Dell Star Radio app. So I tell everyone to download the TuneIn Radio Tune in. Radio it's app. a better app. Yeah. It's well, a better app. It's a better app. And you can chat with us. Well, I don't got Android, see? 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 But see that's back to the iPhone talk again. Yeah. Yeah, see? You know, How long so, you been with iPhone? Probably three years. Cause I, before that I had all Android. Android, Android. was just why? Why you change? Why this loyal? <laughs> you supposed to stay loyal to the Android. Say, look, man, it just I don't know. It just I don't know. I had big problems. A lot of I don't know. It just I can relate to an extent. Yeah, off. but I still liked it. My first phone that was still Android. Are you a two phone guy? No, I got one phone. You got one phone. One phone, yeah. All contacts in that one phone. All contacts, yeah. And you know, you, I still put my contacts in something else. You're talented. Yeah, you think so? How do you keep up with all this action going on? Um, so it's a saying I always just, I, I say take each day at a time. Okay. So you gotta really be patient. You know, you control your life, your rules, your own energy. You know, right now you can walk off the mic and go downstairs and leave if you wanted to. Right. And you can that's your energy. That's you. Right. You chose to do that. So what I'm saying is like Everything that happens, you are in control of it. To, Most to definitely. Stay, um, in, in touch with everything, being active. You know, sometimes we get a lot of texts and it's hard to keep up with texts, but at least try to get back with it if you can. I like that. You know that. what I mean? Like, I try to. You know, sometimes I still hit you back. Like, Matt or anybody, I call them four in the morning, two in the morning. Yo, I got this. What we going to do in the summer or two months from now? Are you down? Are you with me? I like other that. Other people. I'm, I'm up. I'm a bat. I'm mean, very consistent. Yeah, and I try to. You know, so I think we all have that seeds of greatness in us. Right. But we all just have to just get it and catch it. That's real. You know what I mean? Like, back to Swayze. I didn't know he was an artist, too. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But he's also an artist because he's behind the camera. A right. A videographer. You know, he does editing, directing. You know, so we all have that in us. So, like, I, I know a lot of y'all people tune in to, to Yeezy. You know, it's a time where he said we a lot we marginalize. He's an interesting individual. You yeah, gotta yeah. tune in to him. I like I like Have you met him yet? No, I did not. I wish Have you I met could. any celebrities yet? No celebrities. But I was at the Wanda Sykes show. Um so we was I was up there with somebody who was associated with the management and stuff like okay. that. Okay. And that was in Pennsylvania. But then How you would, swing that? Say what? How did you swing it? Like how did, how did you find yourself in that predicament? Cause they know the part. Someone, his name is Kev. Okay. So he's part of the management. So we went there in Pennsylvania. We had like the right seats in the middle. Cause sometimes you want to be too close. You're looking up. You're chilling. Right. It's just right. So after that, you know, they got the bar in the back. The show was over. Everyone walking around. And then his name is Rob. So Rob, me and him was vibing, and then wrapping stuff up. But then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna be right back." Did he? He just faded off. I was like, all right. But I was watching him go down the long, the long. Uh, the aisle, right. you know what I mean? Because remember, the bar's up top. It's yeah. going down. But you know, it's a door. It's always a door in an auditorium if you go straight down. But it went to the backstage. And I'm like, oh, yo, yo, it's already too late. But then after he came out, like 10 minutes later, he took all these pictures with Wanda and stuff like that. Oh, okay. But, but pretty much, um, he knows, you know, certain, 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 uh, certain people. Most dude definitely. Kev does management with people like Lil Wayne and stuff like that. And he'd be out of state, Ray, Ray, Ray. So I caught that, that time when Wanda Sykes came down. I said, where? Let me see this. So she was kind of funny too, man. I believe it. Yeah. So you're plugged in with all the right connections so far. Yeah, the right connections. You got the I right like the, company like around take, you. Yeah, I like to take my own time though. Most you know definitely. I mean? don't, see a lot of people. They they think they do this and that, and then they feel themselves too much. Like I was, you know, like like they got somewhere already. Right. She's still warming up. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I just got signed with Interscope, even though that record label deal is still a 360 deal. Right. If if we really want to talk about that. 
you know you always want to stay independent too definitely you know what i mean but um you know that that record label stuff can really do something most definitely so you have two new singles that are yet to hit yeah. online yeah. right yeah we just hit controller but they're hitting the airwaves they're hitting the airwaves something do, do different you hear that Dude, Something that, different. See, that, speaking of airways, hold on. Before we get to the next single, Fats. Online, he hit airways. Fats, let me tell you something. See, that's the thing about the airways, because this interview right here, I'm planting another seed. This is okay. the next interview. I think Swayze will be here. Plotting. Plotting like crazy. <laughs> you plotting. You plotting. See, like the next crazy. interview, when I come back, I'm probably have a few projects. Mine's already done, but I okay. want to come back and make sure my artists is already, and I want to make sure they can come on here and do their thing and present what they got and drop it too. But y'all got it first exclusively. Exclusive. Then y'all can share it how y'all share it and take it with you and uh. Oh nah, exclusive stay in the exclusive deck because y'all get it first. First, right you know here on I mean? DS Radio. Yeah, so I got like three projects. I got one that's like the lost tapes. I okay. Got one that's like the singles. And I got one that's like, it's like, give me a beat or something. Like, just, I'm just going off different beats and stuff like that. All right. You know, just give me a beat. It's going to be titled, give me a beat. I'm thinking about it. You know, so. Still so thinking you, about the you titles. got something up there in your brain. Yeah. You brainstorming. I already, I already got it, but it's just the titles now. You know, and then move, moving and then going from there. Most definitely. Yeah. So I think this next single, I think we might have to go with, uh, all the way up. All the way up? We're going all the way up. Is we going all the way up on them before we walk out of here? Oh man, we going all the way up. Or I might go as a yeah, let's do all the way up. All the way up. Let's do all the way up. Yo, it's your boy Diddy Davis, live on Dell Star Radio. If y'all don't follow me on Instagram, it's I am Diddy Davis. Twitter, I Diddy Davis. Facebook, I am Diddy Davis. Snapchat, Dario Diddy Davis. If you ain't get all that, then it's real easy and simple. Go to DiddyDavis.com. Get the latest events, latest entertainment. You can contact me on there too, and then we can bust it up. So let's get to that all the way up reggae dance hall remix featuring my artist Barkus and Steez. Let's Most get it done. Let's Bye. go. From the center of the hip hop R&B universe, DS Radio. Your hip hop and R&B station. Top, man, right to the top, yeah. Big man, not top, man, right to the top, yeah. Check me, yeah. Big man, not top, yeah. yeah. Me rise to the top, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not locked and tuned in with DS yo, yo. Radio, man. Yo. You got your boy Diddy Davis in here, man. Let's go. Yeah, you already don't know, stop. man. We was in here chopping it up. Yeah, yeah. Talking. Brung up some crazy topics. Yeah, man. Some relevant topics. Yeah, man. I think I'm going to get real deep before I let people go. You know, I want to shout out to everybody that was tuning in. You know, it... You know, it don't stop, man. Never. You know, when you believe in something, it can really happen. You know, but it's always the beginning. Always treat it that way. Most it will definitely. Help you. you know, if you want to be the best at flipping burgers, you can do that. Right. But it's going to take some work, though. Don't think you good because you can flip them and, not a, a, and all that ah, weird stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you kill me with that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that so I can hashtag that? Uh, 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 that's probably like A A H U U H H. You know what I mean? Something like You're gonna that. You're going to see it on Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely <laughs> <appreciate it. laughs> but you know what I mean? If, because somebody might come in and do better than you. So you know what I mean? Right. So that's what it's about. But yeah, man. So let me let me just do some shout outs. You okay. know, of course, shout out to Dell Star Radio. You know, always holding it down when I come through. I really appreciate that. So let me just shout out to my supporters. You know, DiddyDavis.com. Log on the net, get the latest events, the latest entertainment, you know, the lo- the latest media. You know, if you want to hit me up, you can contact me. Just scroll to the bottom, contact me. Just give me like 24 hours. I bet you I, I got you. I'm going to hit you right back. No more than 24 hours either. You know, Twitter. We got a lot of Twitter f- fanatics. So that's I, Diddy Davis. Like the letter I, then Diddy Davis. You A lot of people on YouTube, that's I am Diddy Davis. Snapchat, that's Dario Diddy Davis. Instagram, I am Diddy Davis. Slout. Uh, SoundCloud, Diddy Davis, Facebook, that's IamDiddyDavis.com. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I just want to shout out to some of my people who's texting me right now. I'm about to hit them right back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just shout out to my artists. First and foremost, I know I keep bringing up Barkers. I'm just proud of him. You know what I mean? For his first performance, he did real good. But shout out to Steez. That's my young boy who was on the all the way up. I got some high school people. They real nice, man. Shout out to Kelvin. Shout out to Shay. You know, shout out to Jew. I got some dancers. Okay. You know, shout to Kiki, you know, shout to D Mars, you know, they some dancers, they nice, they like hip hop dancers. Right. You know what I mean? So they hold it down real good. 
like that D-boy hip hop, like 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 just hip hop dancing. Like I don't know, it's it's not. It's Gotta not see like it that. to believe it's, it. Yeah, it's not those shaking butts and stuff. Right. You know what I mean? It's like they dancing. I like you that. Know what I mean, that's what I exactly. That's dope. It's some, I want to say like the you got served, but it's similar to right. Like like, like, like some New York subway type situation. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Fats, man. Hold it down. Yeah, I'm on it. I yeah. like that way. Yeah, so, uh, you know, just shout out to everybody. They got YouTube? They got YouTube? Do your dancers have a YouTube where anybody can go check them yeah, out? Yeah, they do. But can I, you give I that to me? I have to call them live if I could call them, because I don't really have all that logged in. Next day. time. Yeah, next time. I will I shout them you. out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm probably going to tag y'all in on Twitter and Instagram just because Instagram. you said that. Most you know definitely. I mean? You got Cause, to. Because they up next. Trust me. They're going to be here doing the same thing I'm doing. Cause that's what I'm trying to make everybody do. That's real. You know what I mean? Just come here. Promote yourself. Don't just be buying the keyboard doing it. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Got to get out me. there. Exactly. Don't just make one couple of videos and then SoundCloud. You got to do more than that. Right. You got to get on that mic and... Yeah, you know I mean? Man, so look. <laughs> my boy Diddy Davis is in the building, man. We was chopping it up. Yeah. We was in here talking. Man, I appreciate you coming through. It was an honor actually getting down to sit down and meet with you, uh, finally. Yeah. Because, you know, I seen you throughout Instagram. I follow you on the gram, you know. Yeah, I seen your movement. I respect your movement. I like your hustle. I like the visuals that you post. It's dope. You know what I mean? Don't start certified. Don't right start. Shout out to Don't Star. You know what I mean? So, so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you want to walk to this next single? Do you want to walk to it? Or do you want to walk to it together? <laughs> I, I think I'll walk to it Go ahead, walk I'll, with I'll it. do the two step to it But this next single is called As Above, So Below You know, this single is pretty much just about You know, just planting that seed again as soon as I Planting came, that as soon as, seed that's, that's, See, every time I get on an interview How many seeds you got? I don't know, but I got a lot in the, in the bag right now my I can dig brown it, bag. that's real Because, listen man, when you wake up in the morning Get your hygiene together right. Or whatever it is, you wake up, you eat then you have to go on with your day. So what seed you gonna plant? Right. Because it's gonna take place in the next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, What's Diddy's favorite prefix, man? Oh, you really wanna go there? Yeah, man. I'm simple. I'm like, I like cereal. I like oatmeal. What's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal. I like Captain Crunch. Oh, we in here? Okay, y'all. We got it. There we you go. know what I mean? Captain I like Crunch. the Captain Crunch. We're supposed definitely. to do some favorites. You know what I mean? I like the Frosted Flakes a little bit. Okay. You know what I mean? My lady like Frosted Flakes, so you know I like that. I like Cheerios too. You like Cheerios? Sometimes. Man, Cheer- you got, see, Cheerios you is regular, like a different vibe. If you get regular Cheerios, you gotta smack the honey on deck, then a little splash of the sugar, and it's like. It's so good, yo. That's the only way I yeah, can you eat You sound my like cheerios. you belong in the Food Network, the way you said that. Hey, Splash look, some honey. I, I'm actually certified <laughs> in culinary, so with that yeah, being yeah. said, I could, but I like hosting. I like meeting individuals like Diddy yeah. Davis right here. Yeah, man. I like, you know I like, I mean? I, I'm simple, man. I'm, I'm, I like the little stuff. That's I don't real. Care, man. You know what I mean? But the cereal, yeah. What's, what's your favorite cereal, man? My favorite cereal is Cocoa Puffs. I like Cocoa Puffs, and oh. I. Cocoa Puffs is a different vibe. It's a whole different vibe. Whole when different when vibe. when do you get chocolate in the bottom of the bowl after you're done eating it? Like I ain't never met no cereal that gives you chocolate milk. I like that. So besides besides that, what else? Um, Lucky Charms. Okay. I like Lucky Charms. Okay, my sister like Lucky Charms. My baby girl Dariana. Okay, you know what I mean. But but I think her, her favorite fruity pebbles. That fruity used to be pebbles. that used to be my top favorite. Nah, see, fruity cereals is Apple Jacks. I'm a big fan of Apple Jacks. Okay. You know what I mean? That's my fruity cereal. Okay. But other than that, I'm not really a big fan on cereal like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so, if which, I got so, it, so if, besides cereal, what you really like then? Um I, I'm a, look, I eat. <laughs> I, I eat. I ain't fin- I like everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't discriminate. I taste it before anything. So with that being said, that's my favorite food. Oh man. But hey, who doesn't like eating? You know what I'm saying? Like I know some people. They're out there. They're out there. They're out there. Like, like people on diets. I can't stand you with a passion. Stop depriving yourself of food. Really? Eat with me. Yes. Eat with you. Yes. I'm yo, all right. So I'm talking to this girl. She's okay. on a diet. Right. Moral of the story is she doesn't eat. The food that I want, like cheese steaks, <laughs> pizza, yeah. you know. But she be like, mm, yeah, that yeah. looks so good. If you don't eat this food and stop playing with me, like, I'm full and you look hungry. <laughs> Let's get this. Right. Why okay. it's here. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I, that's, I like, you got to be able to eat. You know what I mean? You got to eat. Yeah. So what is your favorite 
favorite. What is your favorite? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm trying to put a word to it. Take your time, brother. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time, brother. We- okay, so, all right. What is your favorite foreign food? There we go. That, there, there, that is the food, word. Man. Foreign. To what I was, man, foreign food. Only the farthest I went was Mexican. Even though I eat Mexican? Jamaican food, Mexican. You like it? Yeah, I like it. It's on point. I don't like too much spiciness. You don't like that's me. How you gonna how you gonna be Jamaican but listen. you don't like too much spiciness? All right, what's the that's, aftermath? That's that's, that's like listen. you telling me. All right, fats. What's the what's the, what's the, what's the aftermath after you eat something spicy? Fire butt. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's what I'm gonna call it. Fire butt, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, you just feel it afterwards. I don't like feeling that. Me neither. <laughs> but it, it feels great digesting in it. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. Oh, man. You, you keep the AC and the fan blowing afterwards. You feel me? Oh, man. <laughs> Look, yo, man, we done, we done hop way off topic right here. Yeah, man. yeah. But yeah, man, that's but, but foreign food. Basically Mexican, Jamaican. Yeah. That's probably like the forest I've really been. Okay. You know I mean, I had some Indian food before. It, it was pretty good. You know, what, what was it called? I said Indian food. So you know the name is hard to pronounce. <laughs> okay. But uh, it, um, it was like some type of meat rolled up in a leaf with rice and stuff. And then there was some things on some sticks. And yeah, it was a bunch of spicy food. You said, oh, hold on, hold on. Come in, you sit on some sticks. Yeah, <laughs> like huh? like a huh? what? Like uh like a shish kebab, you know, but just different herbs and spices making it an Indian infused dish. You're right. But a shish kebab comes on a stick, right? <laughs> I believe it does, or is it a large toothpick? Okay. Alright, we on the same page, man. Yeah, yeah, DS man. radio, man. Boy Diddy Davis came in here. We chopped it up, man. Yeah, he man. came at my stick food. <laughs> it's okay, though. Yeah, but yeah, man, before we run to the next single, you know, it's just, like I said earlier, 20 minutes ago, yo, really take each day at a time. You Most know, definitely. Playing yourself out each day or a day before, you know, it's, trust me, it's good for the body, it's good for the mind. Yeah. The mindset is really important, even the heart is, too, but the mindset is really, because you got to think. You know, when you at your workplace, whatever it is you're doing. Are you in the meditation? Do you meditate? I do meditate. Okay. Yeah, I think we all need to meditate. You're talking all that peace and because I come in peace. On that mind, I, don't and, and, I, I can like, I can sense I come that like off this you. in peace always. I don't want no problems. Definitely never. So you know? would you apologize for stepping on somebody's shoe while in the club? I don't think so. No. I think you just give him that pat like, oh yeah. You, know, <laughs> you, 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 yeah. you was gonna say my bad, but you didn't. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, him, uh, he's a gangster you know I mean? at the end of the day too, mama. You you see this? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's like because I wouldn't want nobody step on my shoe. It, right. It don't matter what you say, my bad ain't gonna solve. This is like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you yeah. gotta say yo, yo, walk on big money, yo, yeah, you know oh. dumb blood glot. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bot the so, bot. <laughs> You know, no, we don't play with those. You don't play yeah, with those? That, that, that means gay people. No, really? I, I know, know a little something, something. Yeah, but us really, we don't like that something, something. No, we don't. Yeah. I hope not. Us Jamaicans don't like that. It's scary. It's scary. scary. It scares us. That's why you hear a lot of bullet, bullet, and songs and stuff. Right. Like, that's what he's talking about. Oh, well, you just put me up on game. You see, you, see, you, you know what, Fats? You learn something every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. But yo. So can I get your input real quick? Do you keep up with social media and topics? All right, let me tell you one thing about social media. I really don't like reading the dumb blogs and articles. Okay. Me nuts. So you know nothing about the Khloe Kardashian, OJ Simpson paternity test? And you know what's funny? When I'm at my place, I actually sit on my on my big screen and actually watch the Kardashian show. Okay. The ones like the reruns. Yeah. Because yeah, I, you know, on demand. But I don't know nothing. But I don't believe in all that that media stuff. It might be real. But right. I need to catch up on that. Most definitely. Sometimes it hits the net and then people just draw. Run with they it. They bug out yeah. like to a different side of things. That's but like real. you said, social media, I do follow it. Okay. But I don't like reading dumb stuff where it make me think that I got to believe it. And I don't know if it's true. I don't like it. It's confusion. Person-wise, you remind me of a Hobson. You know who Hobson is? Artist? Hobson. Hobson. You know who Hobson is? Okay. Person-wise, you remind me of a Hobson. Talent-wise, you remind me of like a, um, like, like a Bob Marley slash... Yeah, One take, of his sons. Let me take sons. a toast to that. He said Bob Marley. Bob Marley. He's in a I big get that. Mark. He's in a... You know what I mean? 
But that's dope. You, yeah. Would you like to walk us into this last single before yeah, we clock out? Yeah, last single. Yeah, man. Because that's what I was saying earlier. It's called As Above, So Below. So anybody can be what they can be. Right. Trust me. So it's a motivational track. It is. It is a motivational track in a sense. You know what I mean? But it's just the title, As okay. Above, So Below. If you don't know what that means, look it up. I'm going to look you it up. You probably have to do some digging on, the, on, the, on that name, too. As Above, So Below. So, yo, check it out. It's your boy, Diddy Davis. Dell Star Radio. Shout out to my supporters. Everyone that's tuning in. You know, we got more to come. Just warming up. Just the beginning. So let's get into this track. As above, so below. Fast, let's get it. Let's go. Me a yard man. Yeah, I don't know. Me a board man. 